everyone, welcome back to Alone on Art. Today I'll be reviewing the superior watercolor set I got a few months ago. This 18 color set usually retails for 672 pesos on Shopee, but I got it only for 369 during the 99 sale. So here's me showing you the box. The names and numbering of the colors are listed in the back, but there isn't any pigment information unfortunately. I don't mind though because I bought this to use mostly for sketchbook work and doodles. If you are interested to know what I use for the more serious stuff, watch my previous video linked at the top right. Now onto the actual palette. It's larger than a regular 12 pan tin container, but it's still pretty compact with the exact size being 4 by 5 inches. Here's the inside with the 18 pans and the other side of the lid which has separations you can use as a mixing well. It also comes with a small sponge and a water brush. It reminds me of the Sakura Koi set in general but with a much simpler configuration. I forgot to record this part at first so this is from a few days after. I can't tell if this is cool or a waste of plastic, maybe both, but the pans are embedded in batches of 6 into this larger plastic removable container. The single pans can be removed too, maybe with more effort if your nails aren't long as mine. Here I'm comparing the superior pans to other half pans I have. It's about the same size as the Cotman half pan and the Holbein one, maybe a little bigger and deeper, but all three are smaller than this generic half pan filled with yellow. Now onto the more exciting part. Let me just fill up this water brush and let's see how these paints perform. They dry pretty shiny and smooth so I was expecting it would take some swiping to get some pigment out, but they activate and wet surprisingly really easily. Maybe too much even, cause they get really creamy so it's easy to get too much pigment if you accidentally poke the pans instead of gliding your brush against them. Especially with this water brush that's not very soft. I'm not a gentle painter so this is what they look like now after using them for a few days. Here's some clips of the swatches. This was done on Berkeley watercolor paper which is what I'll be using for future watercolor doodles since it's cheap. I also used the water brush that came with the watercolor set so disclaimer that the swatches won't all radiate smoothly because the water brush is kinda too small for that and not that soft. Anyway, I won't show you the entire clip because this video might get too long, but here are the finished swatches. I did another one using a bigger brush so I can get smoother gradients and also so I can have another sheet to clip onto the window to test out the light fastness of these for, you know, science. So going back to the swatches, it's nice to see that they are mostly transparent, except for the white and the skin color which is to be expected. Some of the colors like the orange, vermilion, cerulean, and mauve are quite intense. But what I really like is the hooker's green which looks really nice and subtle compared to the greens in other cheap sets. This will definitely make mixing greens for foliage a lot easier. And I also made this color mixing chart just so I can have an idea of the range of colors I can mix with this palette. I really recommend doing this when you buy new paints so you can experiment with the colors you already have. You might surprise yourself with the kind of mixes you could achieve even with just a few colors. And lastly and most importantly, testing the palette out on an actual piece. I'm using the cheap Fabiano paper for this one because the Berkeley paper takes too long to dry and I have to work quickly for video purposes. This is just a redraw of the house from Studio Ghibli's Ponyo because it has all the primary colors in it so you can see some range.
So a summary and some final thoughts. The packaging is simple but works well and you can clean it up easily. The experience of working with them is really pleasant and it wasn't frustrating trying to get some pigment onto the brush because they were wet and dissolve easily. The quality of the paints themselves are nice and transparent too and not as streaky and feathery even after mixing as other watercolors at the same price point tend to be. The selection of colors is also versatile and there is a variety of intense popping colors and more mellow natural looking ones. The only thing I can really comment on is the lack of pigment information, so I can't really tell yet if work made with these would last or fade if you were to display them. I'll get back to you about the light fastness test results in a few months maybe. Also this depends on the kind of work you do, so it's really subjective but the earth colors in this 18 pan set at least are kind of weak so if you like using a lot of browns like umbers and shenas then you might be disappointed. All in all though, I think the quality is really good for the price, especially if you get it on sale. This is not sponsored by the way, but please look forward to future videos and subscribe if you are interested in seeing more of what this palette can do because I will be using it for some of my future work. Thank you for watching and see you next time.